In this video, we will be focusing on developing answerable clinical questions and how the PICO format can help you develop a search that provides you with the best evidence. So, what is PICO? PICO is a model that helps you outline a clinical research question. It is a framework that asks you to think specifically about your question and helps you identify the various aspects you want to investigate. The first step in developing the best search is to convert your information need into a focused clinical question. PICO is an anagram that stands for patient, intervention, comparison, and outcome. In addition, the type of question and the type of study can be added. PICO allows you to organize your major concepts into a well-built and answerable question. A well-built clinical question entails a specific problem or population, phrasing the question in a way that facilitates searching and is focused and well articulated. So when thinking about converting your question into the PICO format, think about how you would describe a group of patients similar to yours. Think about things such as age, sex, geographic location, and specific characteristics of your patient that you view as important. As for I, think about your main intervention or your prognostic factor or exposure. Think about what is the management strategy for your patient? What diagnostic test or exposure are you interested in? For C, think about what is the main alternative or the comparison? Is there a control or alternative management strategy you would like to compare? O, think about what you hope to accomplish, measure, or improve. What are the relevant consequences of the intervention? What are you thinking about achieving? As for the optional sections, think about the type of question that you're asking. Is it a diagnosis question, an etiology or harm question, therapy, prognosis, or prevention? And for the final optional section, think about what type of study you are most likely to be seeking. Is it a systematic review? Is it a cohort study? Is it a case control? Now let's look at an example. In adult patients with allergic rhinitis, are intranasal steroids more effective than oral antihistamines in the management of symptoms? Now let us break down the question using PICO. So what is our population? Adult patients with allergic rhinitis. What intervention are we looking at? Intranasal steroids. What is our comparison intervention? Oral antihistamines. And what is our overall outcome, or what are we hoping to achieve? Symptom management. Using PICO will help you develop a search strategy. For example, you can use adult and allergic rhinitis and intranasal steroids and oral antihistamines. You could also add symptom management. The more specific the search strategy and the more terms you use, the more narrow your search will become. So what about those optional T's that can be added to the end of PICO that stand for the type of question and the type of study, or even time? First, let's look at the type of question. The first question type is diagnosis. Diagnosis is defined as questions that help you select and interpret diagnostic tests. These tests will help you to confirm or exclude a diagnosis. It includes areas such as specificity, sensitivity, expense, safety, and other factors. The next question type is etiology or harm. These questions address the cause or origin of a disease, the factors that produce or predispose a certain person to a disease or disorder. The third question type is prognosis. So it's how to anticipate the patient's likely course over time and anticipate any likely complications of the disease. Therapy questions focus on how to select the best treatment. The final question type is prevention. This includes things on screening and reducing the chance of a disease by identifying and modifying lifestyle or risk factors. So here are some examples of the various question types and you can use these templates to build your PICO questions. So if it was a diagnosis question, could be things like these questions. Are HIDA scans more accurate in diagnosing acute cholecystitis compared with or to ultrasounds? It could also be an etiology question. So things like are kids with type 1 diabetes who have insulin injections at decreased risk for diabetic ketoacidosis compared with those that use insulin pumps? The questions about prognosis and prediction can be like these. Do mindfulness workshops in patients who are undergoing chemotherapy treatments 
influence stress reduction within eight weeks of initiation of therapy. This example uses the time aspect of T, but it also is a prognosis or prediction question. So is it a therapy question? So an example of this would be in pediatric patients, how does ibuprofen compared to acetaminophen affect fever? The final question type is prevention. So in this example, for medical students, does the use of mindfulness exercises reduce the future risk of burnout? So let's look at our example again. What type of question is this? It's a therapy question, right? We're looking at the best therapy. So now let's look at the last T, types of studies. So this is a hierarchy of the various types of studies that there are. So you could be looking for a randomized controlled trial, a synopsis, or maybe a systematic review. You can search by the type of study in databases like PubMed. So in this example, what type of study might we be interested in? We could be interested in something like a randomized controlled trial. So in searching PubMed, you can build a search and add randomized controlled trial as the type of study and receive results back that are only randomized controlled trials. So these are just some examples on how you can develop a very specific question using PICO. So maybe you are wondering when you should use PICO. Well, there's two major types of information, background information and foreground information. Background information is well accepted and consistent. Background questions are needed when searching for general information. They usually require answering who, what, where, why, and how a disorder, test, or treatment may be working or may not work. Often these questions can be best answered by using a textbook or consulting a clinical database. An example of one of these questions would be, what are the symptoms of gastroparesis? These are a list of library resources that may be useful in finding background information. Foreground information is more specific and tends to require in-depth knowledge and the most current research. Foreground questions are needed when answering questions regarding clinical care of a specific patient. When you have the background information you need about your topic, it is time to consult foreground sources. These are the questions that generally require a search of the primary medical literature and that are best suited for the PICO format. An example would be from the question we were using earlier in this presentation. In adult patients with allergic rhinitis, are intranasal steroids more effective than oral antihistamines in the management of symptoms? These are some library resources that will be useful with searching for foreground information. So in conclusion, PICO is most often used when answering foreground questions. So if you have questions about PICO, or if you need help using the PICO framework, please do not hesitate to contact the Medical Center Library using the information on the screen.